I'm telling y'all with all my heart, don't ever let your route okie dokie. Ever. <laughs> Excuse me. I must have one of them moments. Y'all should see what's going on. I guess the water filtering truck company, they were scheduled today. An interracial couple. They were scheduled to either move in or move out today. Got a lot going on. Police car parked right next to me. Well, I parked right next to him, rather. Yeah. And the route was about to send me somewhere else. I had made a stop across this little pathway. And they got a community lock. Don't ever drive past a hub. You know what I'm saying? If, if you're in, in a zone where there's a hub, always make sure you check to see if that hub is on your itinerary. Tell me. That, man, that just blessed me. But anyway, what's going on? How you doing? I hope all is well. If you're watching this, this is a Amazon locker. Um, the outdoor version. They don't have a door enclosure. So, a couple safety tips. You know, keep a pivot foot. I'm moving around because I know some of these people now. I'm doing this enough where I'm pretty safe. Cop cars right here. So I could kind of swag out on this video. You feel me? So, we're good. But always make sure, let's say the police officer's vehicle wasn't here. Always make sure that you keep a pivot foot. I would say keep a pivot foot, keep your back to the nearest corner. So the corner, this is the Amazon locker. There's a fitness center for this particular situation. There's a pool right here. You know I'm so, you know, certain areas are going to be locked off. Today's time, most of these get, you know communities are better gated and stuff like that. They have different parameters already set in, like ID cards and bump cards, where you can just uh, go right into these places if you're not a resident. You need to be escorted, stuff like that. Um, so always make sure you know your back is to the safest vertex, you know, wall to wall corner. So you can protect yourself and you can always see your vehicle at all times, especially depending on what time you actually hit that hub location. You dig? But again, I'm doing a lot of spinning and all of that because um, I'm familiar with this area and the demographic of individuals. All right, 906. This ride's gonna get a little bumpy, guys. All right. Just bear with me. I'm going to step light. Don't interrupt my setup. How I get this bag out. That's a different story. Um, which bag was it? Emory, Emory, Emory. Emory. Oh, 886 was definitely on the itinerary. If you're... Perfect. Don't try that at home. That'll give people something to post, right? Like, ooh, he threw the tote bag. Listen, these tote bags have been through the ringer for all drivers, whether you like to hear that or not as a customer. Second, as I just did, Man, you do what you got to do to get these customers and clientele their belongings. This shit belongs to them. Yes, you know, try your best to keep it as safe as possible and all that good stuff. But listen, get it how you live. Check your tote bags before. Kind of know what's the dynamic. In locker situations, none of the bags, none of the bags are. Um, None of the bags or boxes weigh over 30 pounds. 
So she should be safe. Is it morning? Good afternoon. She got her headphones on. How you doing? So, what's up with you, bro? How you doing? What is it that you do, bro? Uh, put the chlorine tanks and shit up. For real? Yeah, treat the water, shit like that. Damn, you hook it up. Is it? Is your company? No, no, no. It's work for somebody else. You, it's a skill that you learned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's dope, man. Yeah, man. man I appreciate you. I don't even live here, but I just oh, appreciate real? you having yeah, the skill set. Yeah, 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 yeah that's man. that's dope. For hazmat shit. Hazmat. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So you ain't even got to get in the water. Nah. Hell no. No. Nope. You go in a little kind of pump room wherever the wherever the uh where the pools be at. Find a pump room wherever it's at. Just break it down like a shotgun. Get the fuck up out of yeah. here. Yeah. Appreciate <laughs> you, brother. You know it, bro. All right. Uh, third. Always close the locker as softly and as firmly as possible. Oh, I'm stuck on this wire. Fourth, respect all of the people that are around you. I think that's in any arena. He's doing a job just like me. Respect. Respect. We're working at the same place, you know, for the same reason. Trying to make sure people have what they want, have what they pay. Wow, bars. Um, I know I've been scanning kind of smoothly and easily. Okay, there's a label, right? And then those QR codes. I always try to line the QR code um, right side up. Every time, make the perfect line in the scanner. Oh, it's a satellite. Yeah, I'll do it right side up. It's a little quicker. It takes off 0.4 seconds worth of time. And then delete the screen. Step five. This is all extemporaneous, so I'm not gonna put it up. Um, like I may usually do when I'm giving out step information. Read the screen. The screen will tell you, you know, most likely which side of the Amazon locker the package um, locker is going to be. See, so I got to take a walk based on what the screen says, not the sound. I have. Headphone plugs on. See? As mundane as these type of jobs are, people say, I find very interesting that a lot of people quit. Logistics is one of the most um, intricate and detailed dynamics and in industries and I don't know it's interesting that it gets so mundane so quickly it's hard to get and then once you get it it's like oh I need to be paid more money or else I quit a lot of quit quitting in the time that I've been here a lot of quitting here's the beauty about the Amazon lockers so don't quit before you get frustrated. The beauty about the Amazon lockers, I have three packages in here. Those are the overflows. Ooh, my setup might be on one of the overflows, knowing myself. So I might have to end this video. So here's how I'm gonna close it. Um, the Amazon lockers, the hubs, are a beautiful thing for this reason. It's one stop, multiple locations, extra hella packages, okay? So I learned, because I was stubborn at times, not to do the hubs last. Do them as soon as they come up or do them first, because that will literally, yesterday I had a 37 stop 
one-stop hub, which means when you click this itinerary, stop one is the hub. Then 37 different addresses and locations and packages go into the hub instead of you as the driver going to each and every apartment in each and every condo. That's why hubs are a blessing. So if you ever get a hub anywhere, take advantage of it, appreciate it. I appreciate it like a mug, whatever that is. But that's why hubs are the best. Because if you down a little bit, you go to a hub, it puts you back in the game. If you want to record some content like me, and you got a little skill with you, you do a hub. Right? Man, you're chilling for a minute, or you could get back on your hourly through a hub. So it's a lot of great benefits of doing an Amazon Locker Hub or um, an Amazon Locker Hub house or an Amazon Locker 7 Eleven stop or an Amazon Locker staple stop or Amazon Locker Best Buy stop, whatever you know they allow in your region. Um, it seems like to me, in my opinion, and experience that the Amazon lockers are a blessing to the stock count, to the package count, to how your whole truck would look thereafter. It's you, it's me, it's us.